Katie Hopkins has seen a date on her upcoming live theater tour scrapped after just 24 hours thanks to a backlash from furious locals. The 47-year-old ex-columnist was initially booked to host Katie Hopkins' live in 2023 at the Bedford Corn Exchange, Beds, on a date next year but local residents launched a petition accusing her of being racist. The petition began on website 38 Degrees to stop Ms. Hopkins from coming to Bedford and gained 50 signatures calling for her show to be cancelled within 24 hours. A Bedford Borough Council spokesperson said it cancelled the event the next day as it did not support the city's diverse community. The 38 Degrees petition wrote, Katie Hopkins, is well known for her Islamophobic, homophobic speeches and rants. She does not belong in our proudly multiracial, diverse town. Inviting her to perform here is an insult to a vast swath of our population. Bedford Corn Exchange should be asked to drop her from the bill, to send a strong message about the values we in Bedford hold dear. Ms. Hopkins has been contacted for comment. The controversial commentator has been missing from mainstream entertainment programs and social media platforms over recent years, after being permanently banned from Twitter in 2020. Ms. Hopkins, who became a household name thanks to her appearance on The Apprentice in 2007, was silenced on the site after her 1 million follower strong Twitter account was removed once and for all. Before being banned from the social media platform, Ms. Hopkins would often use her huge following to retweet the likes of Donald Trump and even once slammed Marcus Rashford, as the Manchester United ace became one of the nation's favorite people when he campaigned to get free school meals for disadvantaged kids during the school holidays. The former celebrity Big Brother star also took aim at rapper Stormzy to quit crying racism after he spoke up against media outlets who reported he said Britain was definitely 100% racist. In an interview with an Italian newspaper, the heavy is the head rapper was asked if the UK was a racist country. He reportedly replied, definitely, 100%. It's like, oh no, we're not racist, but there is a lot of racism in the country. The difficult thing with the UK is, as you said, in Italy it's a clear problem, whereas trying to explain that Britain is a racist country is the most difficult thing ever. Ms. Hopkins took to her Twitter account as she wrote, quit crying racism. Start shouting about the young black lads stabbed by other young black lads in London. This is utter cowardice from you. So much easier to make all white people the problem. She ended her short Twitter rant with the hashtag hashtag Stormzy is a massive ebb end. Last year, Ms. Hopkins saw a planned appearance on Australia's version of Big Brother scrapped thanks to the reality TV boasting online about breaking COVID-19 isolation rules. After being officially axed from the series, while still in her hotel room in Australia, the 46-year-old has decided to try her hand at comedy, as she attempts to make a joke about the global pandemic and personal hygiene products. Posting on her Instagram account shortly after her ex from the show, Katie wore a red vest top and denim shorts as she rushed to the camera to give her followers an update about a new fake strain of the deadly virus while holding two packets of sanitary towels. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at Web Celebs at Mirror. Co.uk or call us direct at 0207 29